Hey folks, welcome to AAA. You're watching the evolution of MMOs. Um, my name is Osiris. I'm here joined by McCheese, and today we'll be looking at Dark Age of Camelot, a game that came out in 2001, October 10th, 2001. Uh, yeah, it was 2001. Yeah, uh, this game is still running. Uh, it is pay to play, but it has a 14 day trial, which we are doing right now. We are not paying for the game, but as you can see, I have a level, th we have level 13 characters, uh, so we should be able to show quite some good stuff. Um, so the way this game works is you select a server where you want to play on, and then you log into the game and you get to ask to join one of the three uh, realms in the game, which are like factions uh, in other MMOs. And now I can't exactly remember what they're called. Hibernia, which we are playing right now. Uh, yeah, there's Midgard, Midgard. And another one. <laughs> I can't remember. But it, that, that doesn't matter. Anyway. This is the first game that ever introduced three factions, if factions at all. Uh, this causes for some very interesting PvP, and yeah, I will just show you uh, the character creation first. See what that looks like. So, as you can see, there are different races here, and every realm has different races, uh, unique races to them as well. So you can only imagine uh, how many different uh, races there are. Uh, and then there's professions or classes or ways as they're called here, <laughs> which is quite funny. Um, there are many different uh, classes in this game, uh, depending on which race you are and also depending on uh, which realm you play on, but I do think those race, uh, those classes overlap very much. They're not like every race is unique or anything I mean, like we, that. We have the we have the you know the, the normal uh, split between uh, ranged DPS classes, melee DPS classes, tank and healers, and then some hybrid classes. Yes, exactly. So they all fit into that one of those roles, but uh, they they are apparently uh, quite different still. There's only very few classes that actually uh, are the same in in the three uh, three factions. Yeah, as you can see, this game is looks already quite better than EverQuest did. Uh, this game also got a few graphical updates, uh, not too much because this game looked pretty decent when it came out. As you can see, your basic things here: nose, eyes, lips, and all that good stuff. Eye color, skin tone, yeah, it's uh, not too impressive, but it's, oh, you even have a size, which a lot of MMOs still don't do to this day, but let's uh, cancel this and hop into the game and get some action going. I am playing a uh, Sylvan, which is like a tree-like creature. Uh, the game crashed, sorry about that, people, but we'll just uh, move on quickly here. Um, as I was saying, I'm playing a Sylvan, which is like a tree-like uh, race. Uh, a druid, which in this game has pets. Uh, it's very much a support healing class, although I do have an attack. But uh, yeah, as you can see, the UI looks fairly... Well, I would say standard these days, but back then I think this is a major improvement of what EverQuest looks like at least. Uh, it is very customizable, you can move all these things around on the fly uh, and you can add more interface elements right here that will just open up all kinds of cool options. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna buff yeah. up here because it will take a while. <laughs> <laughs> and that takes like forever. Yeah. But then again, you're one, you're one of the um, hybrid classes. Yeah. Uh, no, wait, you're actually a healer class, aren't you? As a it, it, well, it, it's it's very much hybrid class because I have three. So how this works in this game, you have specializations, uh, and I have, 
like the three talent trees from WoW if you want to compare it to something. And I have three different ones. One, Regrowth, which focuses on healing. Uh, nature, which focuses on buffing. And Nature's Affinity, which focuses on attacks. So you can very much be anything you want. But yeah, it's it's very hybrid. You can be a very nice hybrid, which I did because I put a few points in healing and a few points in buffing and all that good stuff. Yeah, whereas I'm I'm more I'm playing the hero class it's called, uh, and this is more like a well warrior kind of class. I'm a melee based, and I can both do some damage and and do some tanking. And the way it works for me is that I put skill points into my uh, my weapons. So I can put skill points into the blades, or I can put skill points to shield and stuff like that. And yeah. that will unlock new abilities as I do that. Right. And you, of course, you are of course able to uh, respec. Yeah, very much so. Uh, there are actually quite a lot of respec so yeah. uh, options in this game. Uh, I saw that you could respec like for your realm as well. I'm not quite sure how that works, but... Uh, uh, you mean like uh, respec your realm points things? Your realm, realm abilities? Yeah. We'll, we'll get into yeah, that in later. That. For now we're just yeah, going to show exactly. off some basic action. and. So this game is still very rpg with the way you have to attack. I, as you can see I have this targeting system here that has face which allows me to face the target I can follow the target I can stick to the target which makes me stand on top of the target at all times when it moves as you can see invite button assist button and attack so attack makes me just attack with my weapon and then I can just attack with spells as well but it, it's and already seems to be a deep tank yeah, it's, it's already a lot more fluent than EverQuest, I must say. I mean, no disrespect towards that game and what it brought to, to this world and, and today's MMOs, but that game just did not end up, end up uh, very well. What is that guy sleeping? No, did I did that. This, this feel way more streamlined, right? Yes. Yeah, the first thing I noticed in this game is like everything works a lot better. Uh, it's more fluent. Your character jumps normally, and the camera works nice, and everything is more fluid. Mm. Yeah, more or less at least. The mouse controls are a bit off. Th that was the first impression. Yeah, then after a while you get because we are so used to being uh, playing a game that is high quality as World of Warcraft that you start noticing little things. Like you're not, you don't strafe when you hold your right mouse button. You actually move with A and D. That's really weird. But yeah, this this place looks really awesome. We are in a dungeon now, uh, instance, but it's not just for us. Apparently, other people can just come in here as well. Yeah, it's. I I think it's just a zone, really, uh, down here, which seems to be split uh, or. or cover a whole ton of levels it seems because for all new these mobs they are great to us yeah it seems for new people pretty much this map is horrible yeah, this is by far the worst well, so. okay this, this map is an improvement from everquest but it's still bad the way uh, not not that i mean it shows everything that you need to know but it, it's horrible in the way that's really small and it's kind of annoying yeah exactly because it actually it actually shows you where you have quests and stuff which is to be an honest, innovation by itself. Over a lot yeah. Of games. yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's just sad that they're so small that you really can't see, and I, I haven't found a way to zoom in on the game. So. No. Okay. But yeah, we're we're slowly working our way through the quests here. Um, and quest log in this game is not that amazing. No. You can see your quest. You can see which step you're on each quest. So it's not like one quest has just a. A beginning and then you complete it. You'll have to complete like multiple steps in it, which is fine and all. But the thing is that uh, the quests aren't sorted by which zone they they are uh, well accepted in or whatever. So right now, when when we have to find quests in here, we have to go through the entire list and then try to remember which quest we picked up in here. That yeah, is kind exactly. of annoying. What do we do here? I think we have to use this, some scroll we got uh, earlier. It's called. Uh, Scroll of um, Malterius or something. I'm not quite sure how we 
Can I just go like this? I don't have a scroll of my tears. Uh. Well, that is. I don't even. Problematic. Let's just move on. I'm just on. trying to understand. Yeah, indeed. Hang on uh, two seconds also because I think I might have to uh, write something here to make this quest move on. Yeah, okay. That's cool. I just removed his shield. Oh. So you actually had to read this quest text to understand what was going on. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, this, the problem is when you're in tag with NPCs, um, there's a ton of text for each quest that you have to like read, read through. And that is fairly overwhelming. Yeah. So I. Did he just disappear? But it. I don't know. It comes. It all boils down to that. This is the era of, of RPGs where RPGs were for people that were into the whole playing their role thing, reading quests, and being serious about it. Whereas today's um, MMO RPGs are have changed a lot to what players really want from the game, so it's it's really hard to compare it. But I guess that's why this game is pretty much dead nowadays. Um, yeah, it had it had around two thousand. Like it had around two hundred thousand players in two thousand two, which is impressive considering EverQuest was so really huge at that time as well. So. But right now they're probably only like a couple of thousand playing. No, it's not really that, that much. Mm, yeah, the last numbers I read was uh, five thousand in two thousand and eleven. But uh, they they guessed that the game might have become a little bit more popular since then. Though I actually don't remember why it should have. No. Uh, but it, I mean, it's it's doing a lot of things very very well, and I'd much rather play this than EverQuest. Uh, yeah. And also, if you have a if you have a very lively server, you have stuff like the PvP in this game, which is is awesome. That's one of the things that this game was really known for. Yeah, we'll get to that in uh, in a minute. Yes, we will. Um, but yeah, we'll level uh, we'll level uh, thirteen, both of us, and that is out of fifty level, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I believe so. I don't think the level yes, cap has exactly. ever been increased ever. No, 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 exactly. Uh, they didn't increase the level cap at all since uh, it was released. What they've done instead is that they have added uh, different ways to like, um, improve your character in, in the expansions. It's like they added ways to get more, um, more gear. Ooh. Oh, congratulations, Ozzy. Thank you. So they added ways to get uh, attain higher level of gear. They have... Um, what else did they do? They they made some kind of a uh, oh, this is going crazy now. But uh, yeah, brown first round we have tried some. It actually uh, it's quite cool. I mean, a slow level it's kind of rough because there are so many high levels around. But uh, that uh, the idea behind that is really cool and. You see games uh, these days take from it. I mean, Guild Wars 2 is gonna. <laughs> Obviously, one, one, one game take from it, yeah? Yeah, one game. But um, they're, they're taking it a step further. This is based on one server where three realms play <laughs> against each other on the same server, whereas in, in Guild Wars 2, three servers will be playing against each other, which will cause for even more server community and. It allows for more players to play together because it's really hard to yes, balance it, it on indeed. just a server, whereas three servers is easier to balance, I think. And my wolf is dying. I need her. Uh, help. Are you wolf? In oh, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm coming. I'm totally not. Uh, whenever I can turn this cow around, it's controlling so horribly. Um, but what I was saying is that ah, oh, we got another one now. This is going to get really, really ugly. Let's move. <laughs> Getting out of here. Oh yeah. But I mean, Guild Wars 2 has the same thing as this. You have a very tight community on uh, on each of the factions on the server. Mm -hmm. And back when the Realm vs. Realm was really popular, you could easily have people just uh, joining in at any time, actually, to help out your your faction if it was going bad in the 
realm versus realm uh, environments. Yeah. I'm trying to get away from here, Ozzy, but yeah, we are... Trying to heal you. Should we just... Yeah, should we just exit this area? Yep. If we can get away with it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Indeed. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I also think they have some kind of slow mechanic. Seems to be working on me at least. Oh god. Apparently I have some kind of inverse sprint on me. It's got a slow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's... <laughs> okay, I'm definitely going down in here, yeah. Oh, so you just r go ahead, run, I'll just release, I think. And then I we'll can, just meet I can res you. Yeah, yeah if you survive that long. Do these mobs even reset? Uh, when you die, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's... Good point. I haven't actually seen mobs return. No. Uh, back to their position before they killed whatever they were after, so... I think you might be in a bad spot. Which is really odd for a game that... Is this static? Like they just turn around, but when you attack them, no, then you have to die. <laughs> well, we can just learn how to play, probably. They were actually low, quite a bit lower level than us, so. Hmm. Well, um, they're still following me. Yeah, so I think I'll just release you. Yeah. I don't know actually where I will release at. Oh, 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 oh. They ran back. Did they turn around? Yes. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so they do run back after an hour. Great. Oh, uh, except for this one. Well, I, I released, so oh, I'm, there, there, I'm there. somewhere no, else. No. Ah, okay, good. He just reached. No, out. but it's, it's, yeah, sorry. It's okay. I wanted to I try my am awesome. back. Oh god, I'm all the way back in the starting zone. So this game is pretty streamlined now. I mean, they added starting zones and stuff like that, but the tutorial area is surprisingly good. And uh Yeah, the tutorial, but I think that's one that's that's one of the things they're probably redone. I'm pretty sure I saw it somewhere that you yeah, know, they've really. redone the the starting zones to make it a lot more streamlined. But it worked very well. Yeah, definitely. Uh you had to actually uh try out everything instead of Again, like an EverQuest, where you just had to read a lot of stuff. You actually here, you actually got to do some things before they they let you complete the quest and move on in the game. But the, you, you I think the only problem we actually, uh, you know, in the in the starting area, we um, we had this problem where we kind of out. No, we were too low level to continue on the quest. Well, that's just a minor balancing issue, probably. Yeah. Should be good if you skilled with the uh, environment. That a game should really yeah. start doing that. Oh wait. Um, <laughs> so you you basically level in this game by doing quests, right? Because there's a good questing system in place. But when you die, you do lose XP. Yes, you do. I'm I'm outside as well now. I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm just returning back to the city, and we should probably try and go out to uh, where we were before, I suppose. Yeah. So there's a guild system in this game. We're not. We are in a guild, actually. I don't know how to bring up that menu. Is there a guild menu? I'm not. Sh <sighs> That's a damn good question, man. Um, the interface element. No, I actually don't know. We can look up all kind of different states and stuff, but. Warm up spell skills group. No, apparently there's not. I'm pretty sure we're in I a guild though, uh, aren't we? That's... <coughs> to be honest, I don't know. It might just be. Uh, it might not be uh, actually guild realm uh, guild name. It might just be because we're new here. Yeah. So uh, you come towards the city again. I will show off some crafting in the meantime. Yeah, definitely do that. So you have availability uh, to every trade skill in the game from the start, as you see, can, you can see right here, uh, there are quite a lot. And you just put this on your hotbar, which I have right here, and then you open it, and then you see what you can make. 
then you right click that and you see what you need for it and you basically buy all this stuff from the vendor I have no idea if some of this drops I reckon it does but I haven't seen it drop yet and we had to buy it it took us forever to find a vendor that sold it well this was probably the first vendor we looked at but it turned out it had pages and we didn't see that at <laughs> first which is kind of bad uh, shit I think kind of embarrassing yeah looking at the wrong one right here I think Merchant, this merchant, I think it is. What do you need? Yeah, there it is. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna make this wool woolen gloves. Um, four woolen, three woolen threads. So I, I just do. Well, oh, I'm not doing. I don't do that. I do this. Uh, quantity, which you cannot type in. You have to actually manually click, and then you click that, and then you do buy. Which seems really odd way to do it, but you know, they thought it was a good idea. Um, buy, and then we need two rawhide leather squares. Buy. Now we can make this. Um, you have to actually drag this icon to your hotbar, then you have to click it, and you start making it. Also, a very odd thing, if you ask me. And then you have to remove it, and then we made this these awesome wooden, wooden gloves and as you can see I gained skill in tailoring, cloth working and leather working at the same time so I think almost every... oh there you are Mr. Cheese uh, yes as you can see you level up uh, simultaneously with whatever ingredients you use depending on that amazing dance <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, we're gonna show off some RVR, or what, uh... Um, yeah, I don't know where the Battleground Master is in this city, but we could go out to, the, you know, the city where we, we, not started, but where we leveled earlier. Yeah, sure. I almost definitely know where that is, even though, I mean, this is one of the main hops, this is Tiananmen, um, mm -hmm. and it is actually huge. It's relatively big, yes. And there's... Yeah, and there's just, well, there's all these houses where you have NPCs and uh, multiple uh, stories in each uh, in each house, and there's multiple entrances to the city that leads to different areas. Yeah, I actually think it, it's, uh, just, it's just as big as Ogrimmar, uh, if you look at the skill. It's just that we're new to the city, and uh, yeah. Yeah, as as anything else, it will get easier once you kind of get used to it. But it it was a bit on, uh, overwhelming to get in here the first time. Okay, I think this is the right way. Yeah, but all all the entrances look kind of the same. So indeed, this game suffers from being old, and a lot of graphics look the same. Although. That instance we were in earlier looks goddamn epic, and we actually, in the tutorial area, we got into uh, an area, also a cave, which is this random stone where you could walk into, and it was really impressive with the atmosphere that, that came to you, and uh, the music and the background was really, really good. Yeah, it was very well made. So, here's the annoying part. I'm a druid, I have sh shitloads of buffs, and every time you go through a loading screen, or a person goes too far away, you have to rebuff that person, and resummon your pet. Oh no, I have to resummon my pet because it's not allowed in the city, actually. But... Your pet isn't allowed in the city? No, you're not allowed to summon creatures in the city. Isn't it, isn't it like clean or something? No, no, no. It's inhumane. <laughs> oh, here yeah. we are. Yes, exactly. Uh, so let's just return to...